Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of UI Builder, we have done the part 1 where I have explained the basics. In part 2 today, I will create a simple page and a new experience from scratch. So let's go to the instance. Click on UI Builder. It's already open here. Click on create. Provide the basic details. So I have given the name my first experience from scratch. You see the URL path is also the same. If you want, you can modify it. Now I have to provide the AppShell UI. What is AppShell UI? We already discussed in part one. It's a kind of, you know, wrapper. So let's say we create a workspace here. And the landing path is the home. That is the very first page of this particular experience. Okay. Like here, you see. Under Builder UI, we have Home here. So in the same way, we have Home here. Let's remove the roles. We already know how to use the role, right? So whatever role you want, you can specify here. Click on Create. Click on Open Experience. You see, this is the experience. I have explained all the settings and everything in last video. Now we will create a page. Click on Create New. We will create a page from scratch. Provide the name of the page. Let's say experience home. Okay. This is the same URL path here. Click on continue. Now it is asking us to provide any URL parameters. So if you want, you can provide URL parameters. There are two types of parameters, required parameters and optional parameters. So let's say we want to provide required parameters in this particular page. In that case, you have to provide add and provide the name of your parameter. Let's say table. Add one more. Sys ID. You can provide as many as you want based on your requirement. You see it is showing some error here. Name must be alphanumeric character in camel case. Okay, so just provide simple small letter. Sys ID. Click on looks good. Now it's a time to create a variant. You know what is a variant, right? For every page, there must be a single variant. You can create n number of variants for a particular page. Okay, so let's provide home. Name of this variant will be home. If you want to add any audience, what is audience? The people who are interested and the people to whom you want to show this particular experience. So it's nothing. It's a kind of groups. From where you get these groups, like here, go to audience. Uh, under this now experience click on this you see these all are the experience i have created this experience my first experience admin and here roles is admin if you see other you can add multiple roles as well okay so depend on your requirement so let's provide my first experience admin then we have conditions so audience condition all these things are used to you know, filter which user or which type of users will be able to see this variant. Along with the audience, if you want to specify a condition also, so you can do so. How to create a condition? You see here, you can use all the variables which we have created just now previously, right? Page variables. You can use all such variables here and create a query. So if the user passes from audience, if he has such role as well as if he passes the conditions then only the user will be able to see this particular page or variant click on create so now you see our page is created with the name of experience home and this is the variant okay if i go here here you see the title url path and now i can easily choose what is the landing path okay because right now I have only one page, but you can have n number of pages. So for that purpose, you have to provide landing path. So now let's move to editor. Let's go to this home. Okay. Click on it. Let me modify one thing here. You know, let's modify the name of this experience page. Go here. Home and URL path is home. Click on save. So you must be wondering why I did that. I did it because generally the first page, generally the home page should be start with home. And in our next video, when we increase the number of variant here, in that case, we want to display this experience 
from home only that will look uh, kind of professional okay so that's why i have changed uh, the particular url path of this page so now let's go to the editor of this particular variant the very first variant so this is the window if you have seen the first video this is uh, much familiar to you now you see these are the parameters which we have declared table and CID. if you click here you can specify the values let's say table is incident and CID is let's copy this CID from the incident table this is the CID. apply so now we have added the parameters of this particular page save it it's time to configure the variant okay let's add some content click here first of all provide a layout so you see this is column one just look at the body whatever you select will be displayed here and the corresponding configuration details are available here so now click here again add content come to components here you find headers or heading this is heading so I have added the heading here heading is selected here you see three things configuration style and event if you want to change some presets you can do so but for the timing I want to add it manually so this is the style of the heading this is the label I have updated the label to heading for admins only let's save it you see it is showing the same heading okay so now let's configure this heading go to style align it to center come to spacing from top update some margin and from bottom also update some margin if you want to change the background color or anything you can do so but I want to change the background color of this complete column okay so I have selected this column and if I come here in the background this is the background right let's change it to something greener okay if you want to make change in only the background of this heading select the heading come at the bottom select it okay so like this it will work the alignment is still not good let's update it from top let's add some padding so you see how I am configuring it I am not a master but still you can easily learn it's a very basic thing once you understand the components when you understand uh, the basic procedure it looks uh, simple to you okay so now we have added this column and under that column we have this heading I want to add one more column okay so now let me add one more column you see a column 2 is added so now click on this plus to add the content let's say we want to display a particular form here display only form okay and select it right now nothing is showing here because we have not yet configured it so you see the value is coming but it is minus one it means this is a new form so to update the data here you see you have the option to write down the name of the table and you have the option to provide the CCID currently it is minus one that's why this is a new form but if you update it with CCID it will come like this there is second option if you see this is what use static input it means we are providing static values hard-coded values here you have the option to bind the data so click on it so as soon as you clicked on it you see all these options okay so along with all these options you have the option to use these parameters directly here so let me show you how write down at the rate go to context then dot then props dot then you will see at the bottom the parameters add table same for the CCID context dot props dot CCID okay so this is signifying that we are using these parameters to display the data here okay so this is how it looks like there are other things also I will create separate video where I will explain 
all such objects okay not all but the category of such objects so that you understand that okay context dot props is used to use the parameters whereas there are other things also which we have seen right so we will discuss all these things you can see you can update the view you can update force view you can add and credit query everything related to this particular component you have the options here so now let's go to style here let's move it to center that's it as simple as that so based on your requirement you can add n number of components totally depends on your requirement so this is the basic which i have created okay we have created a one heading then in the next column we have updated or we have used a particular form of incident okay so now let's save it so now let's preview the variant you have two option preview it in this particular pane or you can click on open url path so this is how it looks like this is the complete url so if you come here in the ui builder go to settings you can see this is the url path my first text from scratch so this is the url path and then immediately after that we have home that is our landing path okay so that's why i have used home here it is looking professional and then we have the two parameters of this particular page so this is the page the page name is the page name is home and in this page we have two parameters you already know what are those parameters so the same are coming here and these parameters dynamically we are using in this form there are other ways also by which we can you know bind the data we will see slowly slowly bear with me i hope you understand this basic demonstration wait for video number three where we will discuss something else till then subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye